On the heels of new allegations from a former University of North Carolina athlete, UNC, the school is once again being investigated by the NCAA for academic fraud. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPN.com ACC reporter Andrea Adelson. Andrea, why is the NCAA reopening its investigation, and an investigation that dates back to 2011? Well, essentially, the NCAA said in a statement that uh, uh, it would revisit the case if additional information became available. Uh, and after determining that people with information or others who were previously uncooperative might be willing to speak all of a sudden with the enforcement staff, the NCAA decided it had no choice but to reopen the investigation. Back in 2012, the NCAA said that there was no wrongdoing uh, at North Carolina um, in, in this specific case about classes in their Afro and African American Studies Department. Uh, but since that point in time, there have been uh, one allegation after another alleging, well, yeah, there have been improprieties as part of uh, that class and that department. Uh, and McCants is just the latest one to come out and say, look, if anybody thinks that everything is, has been kosher at, at North Carolina, so to speak, then uh, you've got your eyes closed. I don't think the NCAA uh, had any other choice but to look into the matter once again. In addition to Rashad McCants, has there been anyone else who's corroborated his allegations? Uh, there hasn't really been anybody who's come forth with their name on the record, uh, although there is a, a former professor on trial right now uh, in North Carolina charged with felony criminal fraud who is in that department who is cooperating uh, with a North Carolina internal investigation. Um, and so perhaps he has shed some more light into this because North Carolina has been sharing its information with the NCAA. North Carolina saying in a statement that it has promised the NCAA every step of the way as part of this investigation it would keep them in the loop. Uh, perhaps this professor now has uh, provided some information that he did not in the past, only speculating there. But uh, the judge in his trial has essentially said, uh, look, he's cooperating now with North Carolina. Maybe I'll think about dropping the charges in that case. It's certainly early in the reopening of the investigation, but is there any guess as to how long this investigation might last? Well, knowing the NCAA, they don't uh, wrap things up uh, in a timely manner, as we've seen in, in previous investigations. There's no real timetable on it, uh, but North Carolina opened uh, yet another internal investigation in February, the one that I just m mentioned uh, earlier. Um, and so that one continues to be ongoing, uh, and it does not seem to be that there is a timetable for that to be finished, perhaps uh, in the fall, um, and maybe the NCAA will take a look at that investigation and, and decide what it will do. But you know, remember, North Carolina uh, just served uh, a bowl ban uh, for um, an agent issue uh, revolving uh, around Butch Davis when he was the head coach there. So uh, there's been a lot of uh, problems here for North Carolina with the NCAA, both in that respect and now with this academic scandal that doesn't seem to be going away. So it'll be interesting to see how the NCAA kind of views uh, all of that as it starts its investigation once again. It's ESPN.com ACC reporter Andrea Adelson. Andrea, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I'm Carrie Chow with your latest ESPN headline.